me once more and thank you for coming back it's time for devotional and as always before we continue on let's pray let's pray father and heaven of god once more thank you for blessing us tremendously in a powerful way you bless us oh god you give us the chance again to just listen to you as you speak to us tonight thank you for blessing us in jesus name all right, consumed and transformed. Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is His good, pleasing, and perfect will. One thought-provoking topic brought up by Pastor Dan was about asking the Holy Spirit to be the main teacher and guide during Bible study sessions. We can be easily swayed with personal reasonings and interpretations. Therefore, we need to be very careful about this. When the mind is set to self, then the focus is almost constantly learning towards self-serving interpretations rather than truly understanding the real intended message from God. When self is magnified, the minds and hearts are also easily pulled by the enemy. We do not even realize that we are in a trap already. He will use our senses to snatch our souls. How does he do it? He dulls our senses by using every worldly avenue to get us. Our verse tonight is very clear. Do not conform to the pattern of this world. In other words, do not copy what the world is doing. Do not allow the sin-sick world's lifestyle to divert our focus away from God. Just as we need healthy food to nourish and strengthen our bodies, we must feed our minds the right things to successfully grow spiritually. We do not eat junk foods and expect to be healthy, to be physically healthy. Likewise, we cannot allow ourselves to wander aimlessly and spend countless hours in front of our television to watch movies and sports and to play video games, depriving ourselves from the real spiritual food, which is His Word. We cannot follow the pattern of this world. The next line of our text today says, but be transformed by the renewing of the mind. We need to be transformed with fear and trembling before God and the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives to renew our minds. Let the blood of Jesus Christ change our ways of thinking and motivations and align them with the will of God the Father. God's will is good and pleasing it is God's desire to tabernacle with us. We will be able to discern truth from error when God is close to our hearts. He will teach us with all understanding and wisdom when our hearts be captivated by His presence. This is truly a blessing and inspiration. We cannot do it by our might, but through His grace and mercy, he will inspire and bless each one of us in a very powerful way. Be transformed and do not be conformed to the patterns of this world. In other words, do not copy what is in him, but copy the character of Jesus through his Holy Spirit. Shall we go ahead and pray? Let's pray. Father in heaven, Lord God, once more, thank you for the powerful message for us tonight. Help us, O oh God, to spend quality time with you. We eat this junk food, so that spiritual junk food, and expect that we'll be healthy spiritually. What a shame. Oh Lord God, please forgive me. And help us, O oh God, from here onwards to be truly conscious about doing this. To spend more talking to you, reading your word, inspiration through the writings of 
Ellen White. And all of these things are going to help us to be strong in faith and be grounded in love with you. Bless us, O Lord, as your people, as we go, Lord God. Bless us in a powerful way. Thank you for hearing and answering us. In the loving news we pray. Amen. I hope you are blessed again. It's a nice devotional. I hope to, to see you again tomorrow night. God bless you. And I hope and pray that as we move on, keep doing our daily devotional, you will always be inspired and be strong because God is coming here soon. This is not the time to be lazy, but be faithful until the end. God bless you. I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.